Hi guys, today I'd like to show you how to fix a blue screen by examining the Windows um, dump file that is created during the blue screen. So you need a little bit of software to install this to view the file. And uh, but the file really tells you like what happened during the, the blue screen, and it'll tell you like which driver or if it's like hardware problem, and it gives you lots of good information on the issue that happened at that time. But anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste this link into your browser. Uh, the link is inside the description of this video too, so you can use that link to get to this page here where I am. So you're going to want to get the, the Windows uh, SDK, which is the software development kit for Windows 8.1. I got Windows 8, 8.1, so yours might be different, but uh, it's kind of the same thing for every one of them. So you go ahead and you click on this one here, get the Windows SDK, and it's going to load up here. And then right here it says download now, a little button. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same for every Windows, but this is how it is for Windows 8. So download now. Then it's going to download this <coughs> SDK setup file down here. So it's done. I'm going to go ahead and launch this file right here that just finished downloading. I'm using Chrome here as a browser. So, uh, anyways, Chrome puts your file that you downloaded here at the bottom. So I go ahead and click on it, and then click Run. There you go. It's loaded. Now it's asking you where you want to install the file. So you, this is good. You're going to get a hit Next. Right now it's saying that it's going to take one gig of space, but it's not going to take one gig of space because on the next screen here you click on no on the next screen here there's a few things that we're uh, gonna deny installing and uh, that will reduce the space so we'll hit accept on the license here you go here's the stuff that uh, we don't need all this stuff we need this one but we don't need these ones so we just need the Windows software development kit development kit and the de debugging tools for Windows so that's the two that we need and it's uh, 792 megabytes. So after you hit install, this screen will pop up and you just say yes. And then it's going to say acquiring. And then uh, mine, it says uh, cannot look at, locate the download software. So download from internet. And it's going to start downloading from the internet. Okay, so once the software is done installing, you hit the close button, and then you're going to want to hit the start button here, and you're going to want to look for a program called WinDBG. So right here, the WinDBG comes up, there's a two version, select the appropriate version for your OS. So I have a 64-bit version, so I click that one, and it opens up this window here, this ugly thing. So the first thing you want to do is hit file and go to symbol file path and you're going to want to uh, paste this uh, phrase here into this window and uh, you can find find this phrase here in the uh, in the description of this video <coughs> so what it's going to do is it's going to download all the symbols for your specific uh, windows version into a folder called uh, cache which is going to be on the c drive all right so you paste that in here and it's uh, you hit okay then the next thing you're going to want to do is hit file and hit open crash dump. So it's going to want to you're going to be able to open a crash dump file and you're going to want to navigate to your C folder and then find your Windows folders which is right here. And then scroll all the way down to the bottom of this Windows folder and you'll find memory dump. And that's the memory dump that was created during your last blue screen. So you hit open and it's gonna do this and uh, there's a bunch of sh stuff that comes up uh, the first time that you're gonna run this it's gonna download this file here so it's gonna take a little while to download so it's gonna pause for a little bit and it takes a few minutes to, to actually boot up the first time 
So uh, it analyzed the bug check and uh, it found that the last time there was a, an error, it was a bug check 109. So what you can do is you can copy that and you can go onto uh, Google and you can do a search of bug check 109. And it will give you more information about this exact blue screen and tell you, you know, what happened and or. But what you can also do is hit this analyze button here where it says analyze. So you hit it and I'm gonna make this bigger. And it gives, it's going to give you more information about this bug check, and it's going to tell you exactly uh, what it could be. And it's giving me three reasons of what it could be. And then down here it says debugging details, and right now it's actually researching through the document to find the details. So it takes a few seconds for that to load up. Uh, any second here it should pop up and tell me exactly which program caused the fault and uh, what it thinks that uh, the error was. So any second here it's gonna come up so yeah you can uh, easily look up this bug check which is exactly when you look up bug check 109 this is exactly what it says down here that's exactly what you'll find on the internet about bug check 109 it says that it could be a driver or it could be a, a, a coding that was wrong or you could have some hardware problems but in the details here but below it should give me more exact specifics of what happened so here it tells me a bunch of garbage, but here it tells me which file exactly that gave me the error. So sometimes, you know, this file is infected with a virus or it's a virus itself. So sometimes you could do a little research on this process name and find out what it's about, if it's a legit file or if it should be uh, removed or something. But it's telling me down here, see all these memory corruptions. It's saying that I had a memory error and that's why there, there was blue screen the last time. And it was a memory corruption from this this program here. And it seems really legit. And I did some more testing, and everything was fine with my computer. So I don't really know why the last blue screen happened, but it it's telling me that there was an error with the memory. And uh, this is how you find out exactly what uh, what the the Windows uh, dump file is all about, and what's in it and stuff. And this is how you view it. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you. If you like this video, maybe you'll like some of our other videos. Check them out.